well guys in my last lecture i had talked about the various functional forms of regressions that we can that we come across and how we can make use of the different logarithmic operations to transform those functional forms of regression and make them into a linear one well like i said in economics we don't have all the variables that are that are only linearly related to each other so therefore we need to resort to some kind of methods or techniques to transform them and make them into a linear one uh, for our analysis and so that we can make use of the OLS operations in our regression analysis like uh, we use the semi log operations or log level operations or the log log operations and we also make uh, I had also talked about the re reciprocal operations that is uh, normally done in quantity demanded in the price, of course. So, while doing this, we have to be very careful like how to interpret those data after the transformation. The interpretation is of very important that you need to know. So, that's why I have uh, come up with this video to show you with some of the most commonly used. Uh, uh, forms of um, uh, functional forms that we do and after that how to interpret those results that we are getting from the functional forms of regression that we do generally do in our regression analysis so here i have assumed any two uh, variables one is the independent variable and the other one is the independent variable of course beta 1 and beta 2 talks about the parameters and u is your disturbance term well suppose you have level and level or we say like dependent variable and one independent variable so your dependent is y and your independent variable you say suppose say x suppose we do not do any kind of transformation to them right we are not uh, doing any kind of operations or we are not applying any log logarithmic functions to any of these two variables so what we simply get is the slope or suppose say i take an uh, uh, relationship I'm saying like consumption depends on income so in this so in that case how will you interpret this per unit change in y due to per unit change in x so here y may be in terms of rupees and x may also be in terms of rupees and since we are not doing any kind of transformation remember that right so that's where that's why we are saying per unit change or one rupees or two rupees increase in consumption due to one rupees increase in income the absolute values right so that's why we go with interpreting like per unit change in y due to per unit change in x or so one in one rupees increase in consumption due to one rupees increase in consumption well suppose now we have this kind of transformation like we have transformed this x variable taking the log of this x and here we are talking about suppose a relationship like this like the grades of the students are affected by the pocket money that they get from their parents and here the dependent variable is supposed say one two three four in absolute numbers and here also it is supposed say in terms of rupees of course why we are taking the log is like students maybe might be getting varied form or uh, varied amounts of money so of course say some are getting five thousand some eight thousand some may be getting some fifteen or twenty thousand so we have a varied kind of pocket money or data based on this so in order to reduce the variability like i said we use the log operations to reduce the variability or to make the data concise and precise in order to reduce the standard deviation we make use of it anyway how will you interpret the data is the per unit change in y due to percentage change in x so once you take the log transformation for any data that will become that will no more become the per unit change it will be turn into percentage change in x so here what we how will you interpret like is the grades of the student increases or decreases by one uh, one or two grades due to the percentage change in the pocket money that the student is getting from the parents that is how we will interpret like no more like we will not say like it is the per unit change in the pocket money right now the third case suppose we are having the third case like this suppose say we are here we are transforming y not the x okay y means the dependent variable we are transforming the dependent variable and here we are not transforming the independent variable and we are saying suppose say like gdp is a function of time or gdp changes as 
year proceeds or it as time proceeds that is what we are trying to estimate like or over the period of time what happens to the gdp whether it increases or decreases so since i have taken the log of y that means the gdp data or i mean to reduce the variability since gdp is a very huge number right in millions and trillions so to make it precise or to make it small i am trying to i have taken the log of this or we generally take the log values of that so now here we will mean like the percentage change or the percentage increase in the decrease of gdp is affected by the increase over time or over time so suppose say like after one year the gdp of india is increasing or decreasing by suppose say one unit or two units that is what we are saying like or, or one percent or two percent one year increase increases or decreases the percentage change of gdp by one percent or two percent in that way we will interpret this so anyway the last one when we talk when we take the log of both the variables both the independent and the dependent variables that is both y and x so how we how we will interpret this or our model looks like this that is we are taking the log and log of both the dependent and the independent variables so suppose say we are here we are applying it to our suppose say like the cobb de glass production function here here we are saying like is mm, the output of a production farm or unit is being effect, affected by the capital or labor inputs over a period of time so now to reduce the variability again in the outputs as well as the, the inputs of capital and labor of course you know about b1 and b2 which indicates about elasticity of substitution that a firm may be making in terms of capital and labor respectively anyway when we estimate this regression so here what we will do is as soon as we have taken the log since or since we have taken the log this will not no more become the per unit change it will become the percentage change right so here we will say like the percentage change in y due to percentage change in k and l right so we here you have to simply remember that when we take the log it no more becomes the per unit change it it is transformed to a percentage change here so anyway when you get this result how will you will interpret here it is like the output okay right the percentage increase in the output is affected by or like one unit or two unit percentage change in output 1% increase in output or 2% increase in output is affected by 1% increase or decrease in the capital and labor inputs that's how you 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 should be interpreting when you take the log values uh, by transforming your raw data into a functional form of regression and you're making use of it to analyze the data using a multiple regression model well guys i hope it is clear to you and anyway if you have any uh, thing to ask like please feel free to talk to me over youtube or you can you can talk to me in my mail or you can personally whatsapp me in my phone number or the contact numbers that i have already provided in a number of videos as well well thank you guys thank you